Hey, what is going on guys? It's Arya back again. In this video, we're going to talk about the Raygun Mark II variations in the new Black Ops 4 Zombies map, Alpha Omega. There are four different variations of the Raygun Mark II in this map, not counting the original one, of course. For simplicity purposes, let's just call them by the color. We have blue, purple, orange, and yellow. So let's talk about each one and discuss their strengths and their weaknesses. The first one we're going to talk about is the blue one. This one has 33 shots in the magazine and 198 in reserve and when you pack a punch it, it becomes dual wield and it has 33 shots in each magazine and 297 in reserve. The blue ray gun is essentially the same thing as the original ray gun Mark II with some tweaks here and there. It shoots the exact same projectiles, it's just a different color, it has a faster fire rate, and it's automatic. It's not that much stronger than the original Raygun Mark II, which isn't bad because the original Raygun Mark II is very strong. Now with all that being said, this is still a very solid wonder weapon. The fire rate is very fast and the dual wield version is extremely fun. This is probably the most fun version of Raygun Mark II. It's really a blast when you get an entire horde of zombies and shred all of them in a matter of seconds. It's so good. Also, you might have noticed that there are a lot of close quartered areas in this map and there are gonna be many times where you're trying to get from A to B and you're running through a corridor and you're gonna come face to face with a zombie running at you and there's not gonna be a way around it. And this is where the blue ray gun becomes very useful because now you can shoot your way out of that situation since it's powerful and quick enough to get that one zombie out of your way. Now, if you get surrounded by a bunch of zombies, it's probably not going to save you, but if you need to get that one annoying zombie out of your way quickly, the blue ray gun will do the trick. It's pretty good for training, but it's so much better if you can camp with it. I haven't seen people camp in this map yet, and that's only because there are these jolting jacks in the map, and they will shoot electric projectiles at you, and if you stay in one place for too long, they can down you. So I haven't seen a lot of camping in this map, but if you were to come up with a viable camping strategy, the blue ray gun will definitely be very useful. The one gripe I have with this weapon is that since the fire rate is fast, you're going to burn through a lot of ammo very quickly. Even though it might seem like this weapon has enough ammo, you need to be extremely conservative with your ammo because you will run out very fast. There's also one more nitpick I'm gonna mention and that's that the design of this weapon is a little bit uncreative. It looks, sounds, and shoots like the original Raygun Mark II. It's too similar. It seems like they just took the original Raygun Mark II, increased the fire rate, made it dual wield, and then changed the color to blue. Does that make it a bad wonder weapon? No, but it just seems like it's been lazily put together. The second variation we're gonna look at is the purple ray gun. It has 9 shots in the magazine and 63 in reserve, and when you pack a punch it, you get 18 shots in the magazine and 126 in reserve. It shoots a bunch of projectiles at the same time, so it's essentially a shotgun. It's the shotgun version of the Raygun Mark II, and it's really not that good. The fire rate is quite slow, but when you pack a punch it, it becomes automatic with a much faster fire rate. A good weapon to compare it to would be the Haymaker from Black Ops 3, except that the Haymaker was just better. It was much more powerful, plus you could double pack a punch it and take advantage of the alternate ammo types, but with the purple ray gun, you can't do that. The one thing that separates it from just about any other automatic shotgun is that the projectiles don't spread, and they travel in a straight line, so you have quite a bit of range for a weapon that's pretty much an automatic shotgun. I've seen this weapon kill one zombie with two shots in the late 30s, and considering how much ammo you have with it, it's kind of bad damage-wise. The blue ray gun is just as strong, but you have a lot more ammo with it. But with this one, you're gonna run out of ammo very quickly. The one thing that this weapon is pretty good at is that if you're trapped in a corner and you're surrounded by a bunch of zombies, it could possibly get you out if you have the pack-a-punch version and you just kind of spray and pray. It could save you, but only if it's the pack-a-punched version, since the non-pack-a-punched version is not automatic. You can train with this weapon if you manage to conserve 
ammo, you could camp with it, but only for a short time because you will run out of ammo and you just won't last very long with it. Overall, it's just not a good variation of the Raygun Mark II. The next Raygun we're gonna talk about is the orange one. It has three shots in the magazine and 24 in reserve, and when you pack a punch it, you get six shots in the magazine and 48 in reserve. This one is basically an explosive weapon. You can either do a single shot or you can hold the right trigger and do a charge shot which will empty out your magazine. There's no splash damage or explosive damage towards the player, which is great because now you're not gonna need to give up one of your perk slots to PhD Slider. It's a very powerful explosive wonder weapon, but it doesn't come with a lot of ammo, so you need to use it sparingly. The best way to use this weapon is training. Just get a full horde of zombies and use the charge shot to blow them up to oblivion. Now, one little tip I can give you about this weapon is if you're not on a round that's higher than 30, use the single shot. Do not use the charge shot because if you have the pack a punch version and you use the charge shot, you're gonna lose six shots. And if you look at the single shot with the pack a punch version, it's still pretty good. It's quite powerful, so you could probably only use three shots to kill an entire horde. You're not gonna need to blow through an entire magazine to get the job done. And that also brings me to my next point. Since the single shot is still very strong, if you ever get cornered, you can use the single shot and shoot the ground a few times, and the splash damage will clear out all the zombies out of your way. So it's a really good escape weapon as well as a good training weapon but you get very little ammo, and this is the weapon that you have to be the most conservative with, but overall, it's a really solid wonder weapon. The last but not the least, we have the Yellow Ray Gun, and this one is pretty much the best one because it has one quality that the other three don't have, and that one quality makes all the difference, that quality being infinite ammo. Out of the four variations, this one is the only Ray Gun that has infinite ammo. It has 100 shots, shots, and when you pack a punch it, you get 150 shots. It basically shoots this yellow laser beam and it stuns and kills the zombies. When you pack a punch it, you also get this chaining effect, so if you shoot one zombie, the other zombies around it will also get stunned. It's probably the weakest ray gun, but it's still very powerful, and it has infinite ammo and that automatically makes it the best one. But that's not all this weapon has to offer. Not only does it have infinite ammo, but it stuns the zombies, so again, if you you come face to face with a zombie in a tight corridor, you can shoot it, it'll get stunned, and you can make your way out of there. Also, when you're training, there are going to be a lot of jolting jacks on rooftops shooting projectiles at you, and they're very annoying. And the yellow ray gun is really good at taking them out, because it shoots a straight beam. The other ray guns, they all shoot projectiles, so if you're walking and shooting at the same time, there's a very good chance that you might actually miss. They're projectiles, so they're slower, and the jolting jacks can teleport out of the way sometimes. But with the yellow ray gun, you can't really miss. One small downfall with this weapon is is that it's not very good for close encounters. It's not an escape weapon. If you get cornered with this weapon, you're probably going to go down. But since it's so good at crowd control, that that's really unlikely to happen. But other than that, it's a fantastic wonder weapon and it has pretty much everything you're looking for in a wonder weapon. Also, it has arguably the easiest quest, so it's not difficult to obtain at all, which makes it all the better. In conclusion, the four variations of the Raygun Mark II are all solid wonder weapons, and honestly, they're the reason I'm enjoying Alpha Omega so much right now. They give so much life and character to the map, and they're making it a lot more enjoyable for me to play. I was not expecting to have this much fun in a Nuketown remaster, so I definitely appreciate them, but I don't like them all the same, so let's go ahead and rank them. I'm gonna go from worst to best. The worst Raygun Mark II variation is the purple one. It doesn't have enough ammo, it's not very strong, it's quite honestly the most boring one as well, and overall it's just not very fun to use. Then we have the orange ray gun, and while I like this weapon a lot, as soon as I start having fun with it, as soon as I get on a roll, I run out of ammo, and that's pretty much what it comes down to. You don't get to enjoy this weapon a lot because of how conservative you have to be with it. Next we have the blue ray gun, and this weapon is so much fun. It has a crazy fast fire rate, it's dual wield, which is awesome. It does a lot of damage, but you will eventually run out of ammo with this one as well. Which is why the best ray gun is 
the yellow one. It does decent damage, it stuns the zombies, it's good at killing Jolting Jacks, and it has infinite ammo, and that's kind of an irresistible quality. That's what sets it apart from the other three variations. Anytime you can get a weapon that has infinite ammo and is not the jet gun, you're probably gonna take it over any other weapon in the game, because it changes the entire gameplay. Now, you can just be careless and not give a fuck about how much ammo you have left. And ammo is the one thing that you have to worry about when it comes to getting to a high round, and this weapon eliminates that problem completely, and that's why it's the best variation of the Raygun Mark II. That's gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the Raygun Mark II variations. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.